Hey guys, welcome back. So today we should be going to the forest temple, I think. I'm big, look at me. So, okay, I, I, I'll try trying to talk more about the game, about stuff I like whenever I think of something. Sometimes I get lost in a topic and I forget, but this is really cool. Okay, so <laughs> they set it up where um, this next part is like my favorite part of the whole game. If you remember, you have to go through this town to get to the temple. Um, and you have to go through this town a bunch of times and it's like annoying. There's it's like all these people there and you get to like do stuff in the town then eventually you go here you take the sword out you travel through time and you come out and immediately the first thing you see is well ganon tells you that um he's taken the triforce i think and he's like messed up the world or whatever because you've opened what does navi say oh i don't care about that um death mountain that's the first thing you see okay that's kind of cool but the even cooler thing is you go into the town and what do you see? What was once a bustling uh, market is now full of these dead things. And it's so cool. Such a cool idea. That's, um, that's storytelling. That's impactful. Like this place you see the impact of uh, what Ganon's done. <laughs> and let's get, oh, this is so weird. If you kill one of them, <laughs> I love this. I, I This is so creepy. They all walk towards it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm not sure what these things are. I guess they're just humans who have like, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. Does Navi tell me? Like, what's the lore behind these things? Are they just undead people? Like, did Ganon use his, look at this. I can't get over this. Oh, that's so weird. Like, the, oh, that's so cool. Like, cause the, I mean, you're supposed to get like, when you come out of the dungeon the first time you play, or the temple, you're supposed to get noticed by one of these things and be like, they freeze you. Is he gonna look at me? I forget how to get noticed by one of them. Let's go out and come back in. Um, Yeah, I haven't really gushed about this game too much, but this is like my favorite thing. Ah. Okay. Wow, uh, he didn't even do it. You're supposed to get frozen. Maybe not. That's weird. Ah. I guess they're supposed to be like zombies, kind of. I wonder what the actual lore is, though. Like, are they just humans who... What, did Ganon, like, take their soul or something? Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Like, they just ignore you. Ugh. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, you have to actually play the game now. It makes me kind of sad that the recent Zelda games, they don't do too much storytelling stuff that I like. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, maybe they try stuff, but, um, anyway, I had a note, uh, that I wanted to get to. It's kind of a weird one. Let's stay on our weird, um, train of thought. I have to get the horse. I forget how to do that. Um... I don't know why I thought of this. 
it has to do with aliens. Whenever you hear about aliens, you always hear like, oh, they're going to enslave us, or they're going to come over, they're going to steal everything from us. I guess that's possible. I guess the stealing stuff from us, like, oh, we've run out of supplies and we need to harvest your planet. That's possible. Um, I think I'm more optimistic if there are aliens, which there probably aren't. We'll never probably never meet any <laughs> aliens. Um, but, okay, I think compassion and empathy come with sentience. So whenever you hear about aliens, you always hear about obviously these sentient aliens oh, ow. who are like, take me to your leader or whatever. I just died. <laughs> Do I go back to the temple of time? Um, we always view them as like these scary things. But I think, I wrote down, I don't know, what. once your brain is big enough to know that you are a thing that is and one day won't be, you immediately transfer that onto other people. I think that's true. Oh. <laughs> um, obviously, bad things happen. There are wars. People can be horrible to each other. Um... I'm not saying that that's not a thing that happens. Uh, how do you... Uh, why is it so much bigger now? I think I have to go through the maze, or the Lost Woods. Um, and somebody said on a podcast once that I wrote down. I mean, it was probably Harmontown, because that's the only one I've been listening to recently. Um, no one gets PTSD from helping people. I don't think it's in our nature to hurt other people, to go to war. It seems like it is because we do it so much and we love doing it, but I, I don't think it's something that, I think it's something that happens just because we're all these people and we're just living together. And we have disagreements, and eventually wars happen, but I don't think it's anything anybody ever wants to do. And I don't think it's in our nature to do it. Okay, I can't do this without the... I guess I can. Without the music. You can kind of just like stand here and then go this way. Do I want to go that way? I don't think so. What's under here? Or heart piece or something. It's just rupees. You wasted five rupees. You have to do a lot of mental jujitsu to think someone else deserves to be dead. You need to be brainwashed or fundamental or whatever. Eh, that's not a great note, but, um, you do, yeah, you need to be convinced somehow that, hey, what's he doing? Okay, I don't actually know what to do then. Oops. Maybe we'll just wander around and go see the Deku tree. What's he up to? Um, I so that's all to say that I don't think sentient aliens would enslave us because I think they would have empathy because I think empathy is inherent to sentience. That's my thesis, <laughs> based on nothing other than just the idea that. If you know that you are a thing that can die and can live, you know it's wrong to take that away from someone else. Inherently, you know that. Um, you have to be like brainwashed by some 
religion or something to think otherwise. Um, it doesn't always have to be religion. It could be anything. Um, here's my old house. I had a nice house. Where was everybody else living? Um, I forget what music is playing here. I was just thinking, I guess I was thinking about the Hitchhiker's Guide Galaxy to the Galaxy Aliens. And they're like, we're gonna build a, a highway through your planet because, uh, I mean, I, I, I like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but I don't think those aliens exist. <laughs> I mean, it's a comedy, so, but still. Yeah, the plot to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is that um, some aliens decide to build a highway through, like a alien highway through the Earth, so they demolish it. <laughs> and um, they're like, you know, we had a vote on it, but you guys didn't say anything, so. Dead tree. That's interesting. Okay, what does Navi say? I don't care about that. Should I go see that? For, I guess. Let's just go to Death Mountain and see what's up over there. Maybe the forest isn't the first place you're supposed to go. I'll go take the shortcut. Well, I only have a couple minutes left anyway. Ah, stop it. smart thinking about that again like I should write a book about I think I'm so smart and here's why I do like that idea of like well nobody gets PTSD from helping someone I know you could pick you could pick it apart like you could pick anything apart but it's a nice thought like we're not meant to hurt each other we're not meant to go to war and when we do, it messes up our brains because our brains aren't designed for that. We're not supposed to be doing that to each other because we understand what we're doing. We understand like we're ending lives and we're torturing people. And we know, we understand that they're human beings. They're, they're us. When we look at other people, we see us because we're all the same. Even if I can't speak our language or whatever. Whatever's stopping you from, like a barrier that keeps you from feeling empathy. Um, there's a part of your brain that knows that it's not right and that it's... Blow this up. Oops. I don't remember. Because once you start doing it, your brain gets messed up. It's like... Ah, and you start freaking out. You get PTSD. You don't know how to deal with it. Because you're not meant to. Okay, I think I went over today. Maybe I'll do one or two more episodes. Do I have enough notes? I have to do one more at least. Okay. Uh, see you tomorrow.